Hi sisters, Marta Webster here. Um, I attend the Elkridge Seventh Ward, and as I have been thinking about the many ways that I hear my Heavenly Father and my Savior Jesus Christ, um, and the things that I have learned from them, I've decided that if I took the time to explain all those things to you, it would take hours. And since I typically shy away from these type of experiences quite adamantly, actually, I have to admit that I'm very grateful that we have been asked to just share a couple thoughts. And um, while my thoughts are probably going to be very simple, um, I want you to know that I am grateful to be able to have the opportunity to share them with you. Um, so in my patriarchal blessing, I was told that my birth was foreordained by my Heavenly Father and that his hand had been in my life ever since um, I was born and even before then. And that was a, that's been a huge comfort to me, being able to have that and to have my patriarchal blessing to hear the things that he has for me um, to do. Um, now, for those of you who don't know, I was born in Central America in one of the many rainforests. Um, I have no written... Um, record of being born. My background is Mayan Indian and I, they just didn't do that <laughs> out there. Um, but regardless of not having a record here on earth with the, you know, time or birthplace or biological parents' names, um, I know that I have a record in heaven and that has been a huge comfort to me. Um, because that helps me to know that Heavenly Father knows me. And um, I have to admit that I was born into circumstances that were would be considered high poverty and very undesirable. And um, as I thought about the many um, sacrifices and the efforts that were made in order for me to be here, um, it's helped me to think about being grateful for those things um, and being grateful for my foreordination the, to be here. Um, I know that we all are foreordained of our Heavenly Father to be here. I know that we all chose to be here. And um, I think that if we all consider the circumstances and the situations that it took for all of us to be here today, we might be able to gain a better appreciation for um, for those sacrifices that were made on our behalfs. Um, so my patriarchal blessing was key for me um, in understanding my foreordination um, by God, especially when I didn't feel like I had a purpose or a reason to be appreciative of what I had been given. Um, sacrifices were assumed and in order for me to have the opportunities that I gained. And I'm here today to say that I am so grateful for the experiences um, that brought me here and that have brought me closer to my Savior and Heavenly Father. Um, I grew up in a little town called Buell, Idaho. And for me to think about how far I came um, and for how I was supposed to be with the family that I was supposed to be with, um, that is just shows that I was loved. And I know that all of our circumstances are different and, um, and that everybody has an important story to tell about who they are and why they're here. I know that I feel my Savior's love and my Heavenly Father's love all the time. And I, I love being able to talk to them and to pray to them. And I know that um, if you were praying about it, God is working on it, whatever it may be. Um, and if we are struggling in finding joy in our circumstances that we're in or anything like that, I know that we can um, get answers to our prayers and that our Heavenly Father is there to listen to us. I testify that he lives and I am grateful for him. And 
I say that in the name of thy son, Jesus Christ, amen.